Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. It is book week this week and we thought because we're moving into the new topic of fairy tales that we would read you a new story every day. So today we're going to start with Hansel and Gretel. This story is about a brother and a sister and their journey in the woods. Now make sure to listen really carefully because this is going to help you with the literacy task. Hansel and Gretel lived with their father, a poor woodcutter, in a little cottage in a forest. When Hansel and Gretel's mother died, their father married again. Hansel and Gretel's new stepmother was selfish and mean, the cruelest woman they'd ever seen. One night, when the children were in bed, Hansel and Gretel's stepmother said, Husband, we only have food for one more day. We must send Hansel and Gretel away. Otherwise, we will all starve. Father said no, but stepmother said they have to go. What will we do? I'll look after you. Later that night, Hansel crept outside and collected some pebbles. In the morning, when father took the children into the forest, Hansel dropped the pebbles as they walked. Father told Hansel and Gretel to wait for him, but he didn't come back. Soon it was dark, but the pebbles shone white in the bright moonlight to show Hansel and Gretel the way home. We'll get home soon by the light of the moon. Hansel and Gretel walked all through the night to get home. Father was happy to see them, but stepmother was cross. Naughty children, she said. I'll show you who's boss. She told father he must take the children back into the forest and leave them there. When Hansel went down to collect some more pebbles, he found the door locked. Oh no! The next morning, Father took Hansel and Gretel deep into the forest. He gave them bread to munch for their lunch, and Hansel used some of it to make a trail of crumbs. At the end of the day, the crumbs will help us find our way, he whispered to Gretel. Father told Hansel and Gretel, I'm going to chop some wood. Children, please be good and wait for me here. But he never came back. Gretel cried, we're all alone. Hansel replied, the crumbs will see us home. But the crumbs were gone. The birds ate them. What will we do? I'll look after you. By the morning, Hansel and Gretel's tummies were rumbling and grumbling with hunger. Suddenly, just ahead, they saw a house made of gingerbread. A house made of sweets, a house we can eat. The old woman poked out her head. Come inside, my dear, she said. This way, children. But the old woman was a witch. She locked Hansel up and gave Gretel a mop. Do the housework, she said. Every day, the witch told Gretel, cook your brother some tasty food. When he's nice and fat, he'll taste good and I will eat him. I like to eat little boys. Every morning the witch told Hansel, hold out your finger so I can feel if you're fat enough to make a meal. However, Hansel knew the witch couldn't see. Her eyes were so sore and red. So he tricked her and held out a bone instead. Not fat enough yet. One day the witch couldn't wait any longer. I'm going to cook and eat Hansel, she said. Gretel, light the oven now, Gretel replied, but I don't know how. The nasty witch cried, just crawl inside. Look, I'll show you how to do it right. Gretel pushed the witch in and shut the door tight. Go, Gretel, go. Gretel unlocked the cage. She and Hansel could go. Here's the key. I'm free. But first they went round the cottage, looking high and low. They opened a door and, oh, what a sight! They found piles of jewels, all sparkling and bright. Hansel and Gretel soon found their way home, where Father was waiting all alone. I'm so glad you're back. Your stepmother has gone, he said, hugging them tight. From now on, everything will be all right. With the witch's jewels, they would never be poor again. And they all lived happily ever after.